Intellectual property. This is the first part of a uh, series on intellectual property and it focuses mostly on copyright. So what is copyright? Well, copyright is a form of intellectual property that protects the original expression of ideas. It enables creators to manage how their content is used. Creators can prevent people from reproducing or communicating their work without permission. This includes film, music, software, or any artistic work. Laws have been passed in most countries to protect the copyright of the software developer. Um, as the world is becoming more tech savvy, all forms of software require protection. The Copyright Act of 1968 outlines the laws regarding copyright in Australia. Um, although the law protects the creator's work, it doesn't cover the underlying ideas and the information within that property. This allows creators to develop similar software, for example, Vine and TikTok, as they have similar concepts yet not exactly the same as the Vine can't copyright a TikTok. They aim to encourage developers uh, of software by ensuring developers are financially rewarded for their intellectual efforts. The copyright protection itself is a reward as it prevents others from plagiarizing their work or the work of another creator. Those who would plagiarize are accountable for civil damages. In other words, monetary uh, remuneration. Depending on the extent of the damage caused, the cost of the charges can vary from hundreds to thousands to millions of dollars, um, which, of which part of the money it goes to the creator of that original work. Okay, some terminology here. A license is a formal permission from the owner of a product to use that software or use that product. Software licenses are generally non-exclusive, meaning that it can be licensed by multiple users. An agreement or a contract or a mutual agreement between parties can be done through clicking the OK button. For example, the EULA on Windows and the end user license agreement. A term is the period of a license agreement. So the software license agreement could expire or could be forever. Uh, an example of a term is the one year license that is offered to students in department schools for the Adobe, for the Adobe Creative Cloud. A warranty is an assurance or guarantee regarding the product's usage. Software warranties are usually limited and state that the work the, the, the product works with the medium. If the product is sold as is, then any bugs or issues with the usage of the product are not covered under the warranty. More terminology. Limited use. Limits are restrictions on, on buyers, uh, buyer's use of the product. This means that the product is limited to one device and can be used only for a particular amount of time and cannot be copied unless, the ar unless for archiving purposes and certainly cannot be altered. Liabilities are uh, an obligation or a debt uh, as a consequence of a faulty product. A license agreement limits the liability to a replacement of the product or gives a refund to the user. A program is a computer software or is computer software that includes executable files and data files. This does not necessarily include media. Reverse engineering is the process of decompiling a product, encoding comments as used to assist the process. Um, however, oh, sorry, comments are used to assist the process. However, many license agreements do not allow users to do this and protect the intellectual property rights of the developer. A backup copy is a copy of software for archival purposes. This should only be done in the case of the, when the original product fails. When the license agreement is terminated or the software is resold, because uh, then those backup copies must be deleted. Let's consider legal uh, aspects. Using the laws of copyright, intellectual property are protected. These laws are further reinforced by software license agreements. The license agreement attempts to clarify the enforcement details of the possibility of a breach. Coverage of all software products is automatic unless it involves selling or changing the owner of a product's original details. This will, uh, will require a formal written contract. Although some products don't require license agreements or copyright notices, they must be covered by copyright laws. Only if the product is within the public domain and the copyright is renounced, the copyright laws not apply. 
The Australian copyright laws are thoroughly explained in the Copyright Act of 1968, and I'm sure you'll enjoy reading that. To be enforced by courts, all software license agreements should comply with this Act. Some countries uphold the copyright laws of other, other nations. There are many variations of software licenses as a result of differing products. These types are commercial. Commercial licenses are covered under copyright and only one copy can be made for archiving purposes. The product must not be altered, distributed or reverse engineered. The source code is not included. Public domain. Public domain is, not, uh, is a product not under copyright, meaning it can be copied or altered with no restrictions. The source code may be included along with the executable files. Shareware is covered by copyright and cannot be copied unless for archival reasons. It also cannot be reverse engineered or altered. Source code is not included normally with the shareware products. Freeware is covered by copyright, but it can be copied and altered. Copies are allowed to be distributed and shareware uh, may be included. Source code may or may not be included. Open source. Open source uh, is covered by copyright, but specifically removes traditional expectations of copyright. It is available to be copied, modified and redistributed. This is due to the source code being made available and free to modify, update and include. The author must be credited all modified paths must also be included. And if you do change a um, um, source code under open source licensing, it is expected that you will share your source code as well. Site licenses are covered under copyright and, and specify the amount of devices a product can be installed upon. Creative Commons licenses. Uh, licenses allow, um, alter how copyright material may be used without charge. These do not deal with distribution of source code and are commonly used for media. All material is free to be used, altered or distributed for non-commercial reasons, but the author must be credited. And that's not completely true. There are many different types of Creative Commons licenses. And the best thing you can do is to choose the correct um, media with the correct license for your use. But you should read um, the Creative Commons license agreements uh, as applies to these media that you choose. 